This is the military's new surgical anatomy model, otherwise known as SAM. SAM can be given blast injuries, gunshot wounds, cut into in numerous ways, he has a pulse and he bleeds warm, pretend blood. And SAM has transformed medical training. Previously, a scenario would stop when the patient reached the point of surgery and the surgeon would talk through what they'd do next. Now they can actually do it. He was created by orthopaedic major trauma surgeon Professor Ian Pallister. The model, apart from resin for the bones, is essentially different types of silicon, um, including very elastic silicon for where the skin is, um, but then the silicon simulating the fat has got a certain greasy quality to it, and when this gets the theatrical blood on it, it becomes very, very slippery indeed, helping to simulate the realism of the, the sort of tactile feedback. The muscle is very elastic, similar to the skin, but again, it is a reasonable reproduction of the actual textures and so forth of human tissue. Simulated blood is just water with ordinary red food dye in it. Um, when we mix it up at the start of a, a simulation, we make sure that the water is as warm as possible. The reason for that is the interior of the human body blood is warm um, and it just helps the realism, the immersion, you know, the tactile feedback that the surgeons get handling the tissues. So you can see the arterial bleeding coming from the wound in the through and through gunshot wound, which this would be controlled in the practical tomorrow with tourniquets proximal to the wound. The surgeons will then enter and get proximal and distal control, put a shunt in, which is a, a tube to allow the blood to flow from above the injury to below the injury. And then a pulse would return to the leg. What I can do is I can roll the simulated skin up on this leg to show where the surgeons would be making the incision through the skin then through the subcutaneous fat which you can see represented here and then once through the fat they would be dividing the, the tough covering called fascia to display the muscles underneath and to allow those to swell. The anatomical accuracy of Sam's insides was a fine balance. It needed to be realistic enough to be useful, but some simplification was required so his parts are reproducible and not too expensive. And this is one of the real advantages of Sam. Until now, lifelike surgical mannequins have been made, but once they've been cut into, they're not very reusable. Sam, on the other hand, can be cut open and then repaired over and over again. So, as you can see, the model is modular, so arms and legs could be exchanged for different patterns of injury if that was required. The section containing all the pelvic and abdominal contents can be removed and another insert put in for a gunshot wound to the groin. The insert up here on the right shoulder can be replaced with one with a gunshot wound uh, just below the clavicle towards its lateral end, which is another point of vulnerability um, for uh, servicemen and women given the patterns of the body armour and so on, so what we call junctional haemorrhage. The model is quite versatile, the arms are articulated so that they can be positioned more realistically than previous versions which are completely stiff at the shoulder. And similarly, um, the legs bend at the hip, so that allowing the limb to be positioned should the surgeons need to get surgical control uh, in this practical following a a surgical incision in that kind of line. We've tried to make the face as realistic looking as possible while altering the features so it isn't obviously recognisable as the person whose data we've used. Um, and this assists really with people buying into the fact that although this is a, ma a model, a mannequin, um, it has that element of realism in terms of facial features. So when the anaesthetist is looking after the patient Various manoeuvres can be done to help clear the airway um, and then when the patient goes off uh, to sleep for the anaesthetic then the tube can be put in to assist with simulated ventilation. Another important feature is that the, the model, when it's all put together, weighs about 55 kilos. So less than a man of this size, which would probably be more like um, 75 or 80 kilos, but still has a realistic weight to it. So when you lift a limb and move it, it feels heavy. 
Um, and again, all of these little features just help to reinforce the realism um, and help people with the immersion into the simulated um, scenario that they're going through. You can certainly see that the surgeons become properly immersed in what they're doing. Um, they're concentrating very, very hard on doing the approach so they can stop the bleeding from the major blood vessels and so forth. And it's not uncommon to see a few little beads of sweat start to appear on the foreheads. Maybe, maybe the tiniest suggestion of a little bit of a tremor in the hands as they get fully immersed and engaged in what they're doing. Following a successful pilot, the SAMs are now being deployed for real, not just to training establishments, but also places like the aircraft carriers, so medics can keep skills up to date, even whilst deployed. Hannah King, BFBS Forces News, at the Defence Medical Services in Lichfield. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.